Hi guys, welcome to Silver Lake Honey Channel. Today I'm making um, wax strips uh, that I use in uh, like comb honey production, in candle making, and also in queen production. Uh, bees need some kind of guidance to um, make a straight uh, comb. If you just uh, put foundationless um, frames in a beehive, they're gonna build a mess like a uh, they, they're gonna build comb all over so <clears throat> I'm gonna show you a few met methods how to how I use uh, strips and how I make so the easiest way uh, to, to make the comb honey is to remove from the regular uh, medium honey super to remove every other uh, frame so I go nine frames so I use five of fully drawn frames like the, the, these and then every other frame is just empty so I, I do one foundation one empty one foundation one empty and so on so the bees will have the guide so these will be on side of the frame so bees will have the guide to draw a straight straight foundation when they have a fully drawn frames on both sides. I actually found a bar, old a box of old frames. They're gonna do a good job uh, with uh, this uh, comb honey production. They have a, a wedge, removable wedge that uh, is, can be removed and then we can insert a wax strip or a popsicle stick. So I'm gonna show you a uh, couple of methods that I, that I use for that. So I'm gonna assemble a few of these old frames. Um, put a wood glue on both sides. I use uh, like a popsicle sticks and uh, <clears throat> just remove this uh, wedge. And place a popsicle stick, or you can use like the paint stirrer. So when I put the popsicle guide in, um, I use brush to coat it with beeswax. It will uh, help attract bees to, you know, make beeswax faster. So I coat the whole thing with beeswax. And I also put every other one inside the, the honey super so they will they'll have something to go on and, and draw a straight foundation 
So the third and my preferred way of making a beeswax starter strip is by using my own uh, wax that I collect through it throughout the year. Uh, I make these big uh, pieces of wax when I do my wax cappings and I know that there's no chemicals and they're, uh, they're, they don't have any poisons in them uh, left from the treatments and stuff. Not like uh, commercially available wax strip that you can see it's I don't even know I think this is paraffin that's not even wax. So especially in food, in comb, honey production, you want to use your own untreated hives without chemicals. So I, I make uh, the full sheets of wax and then I cut it into um, strips. Uh, strips are between three quarters and uh, one inch long. And I put it uh, inside uh, the frames. So, so I have this uh, European silicone um, made uh, wax press that is designed to make natural foundation and I'm gonna make the wax sheets first and then I'm gonna cut them into strips. I uh, So before pouring the foundation we need to apply uh, some kind of mold release so it doesn't stick to the silicon and it's pretty simple uh, you just uh, pour some wax in this uh, wax press and then close it extra wax is gonna pour down into water and cool down so we can reuse it again so we press it and leave it for a few seconds to cool down. Then we're gonna cut this extra uh, wax edge. And we have this beautiful wax foundation. Okay, so we have the wax and then we're gonna cut it into the into strips. So I cut uh, approximately uh, three quarters of an inch strips. Doesn't have to be the exact, so it could be up to inch. Uh, about three quarter inch to an inch. It's space, they'll figure it out. It's not like a rocket science. So the way I install it is I remove this weight bar, this wedge that, that this thing has and then clean it a little bit. Also clean this wedge. So put this 
part here. Like this. Press it together. And here we are. So it's a natural wax. This is my preferred method that I do with this wedge bar. And if you use just a straight frame without uh, adding this wedge, when you do cut comb, uh, leave half inch or so when you cut the comb, leave, uh, leave half inch or so wax so you don't have to do a wax strip. I also uh, <clears throat> do a uh, started starter strips on my mini mating, uh, mini uh, nooks when I do my queens. So this is the starter strip. The way I do those is uh, these little uh, queen mini uh, queen mating nooks is I cut uh, this piece of like strip like that. And I apply some beeswax here in this uh, brew. And then just insert this little piece here. And that gives you a starter strip for mini mating nooks. Bees prefer this a lot better and they draw a lot faster than actually plastic or, or when you buy the, this like in a commercially available uh, <coughs> uh, wax. So that should be all for today uh, guys. Thank you for watching and make some cut comb. Uh, customers really like like and always ask for com cut comb uh, we can't make as much you know as our customers are asking so thank you again for watching and uh, happy beekeeping wish you all the best